hello everyone so today we will discuss about unidirectional pathway string and bidirectional pathway string as in the last lecture we discussed about point to point link how point to in this way protection can be achieved in sonnet and sdh then we talk about self healing rings and so in today we will discuss about unidirectional path switched ring okay this is a symmetric diagram of unidirectional path switched ring so one in this one fiber only one fiber is used as working fiber and another one is used as protection fiber okay as we can see here that one is used for working and another for protection pipe suppose traffic from node a to node b sent simultaneously on working fiber in clockwise direction and in protection fiber in anti clockwise direction so if we want to send a data from this is node a this is node b then in the working connection it's transmit from in transmit in clockwise direction in this way and in the protection connection protection connection it transmit anti clockwise direction okay protection is performed at path layer for each connection as follows node b continuously monitors both the working and protection fibers and select the better signal between the two for each sonnet connections under normal operations suppose node b receives traffic from the working fiber if there is a link failure in case if there is a link failure say link ab there is a link ab then b will switch over to the protection fiber and continue to receive the data okay and in what happened in case of if there is a failure in a to b a b connection then b will receive data from protection sites so the switch over is done on a connection by connection basis this is essentially like the one plus one scheme that we studies earlier except that it is operating at the path layer in the ring rather than at the line layer in the point to point configuration means in the in one plus one connect when we talk about one plus one connection it was in line layers but in case of this ring connection it is operating in path layers okay and what is the main drawback of this unidirectional path switch ring that it does not especially reuse the fiber capacity that is because each connection uses up capacity on every link in the ring and to dedicated protection bandwidth associate with it thus there is no sharing of the protection bandwidth between the connection okay and unidirectional path switched rings are popular topologies for lower speed local exchange and access networks particularly where the traffic is primarily hubbed from the access node into a hub node in the carrier's central office okay so now if we talk about bidirectional line switch ring <coughs> by blsr bidirectional line switch rings are much more sophisticated than unidirectional path switch rings okay and incorporate additional protection mechanism it has additional protection mechanism than up sr <clears throat> unlike 
UPSR, they operate at the line or multiplex section layer. The BLSR equivalent in the STH world is called a multiplex section shared protection ring that is MSSP ring. Two fibers are used in this. Two fibers are used as we can see here. Two fibers are used as a working fibers and two are used for protection. If we talk about BSLR4, this is called BSLR4 generally because four layers are used. BSLR2 are used for working fiber and other another two are for protection. Unlike a unidirectional pass switch ring, working traffic in the BLSR means bidirectional line switch ring can be carried out on both direction along the ring. Okay, whatever happens in the unidirectional path, will, the data will tra trapping in only in clockwise. But in this case, in both the direction, it can carry on both the direction along the ring. For example, on the working fiber, traffic from node A to node B, if we talk about node A and node B, is carried clockwise along the ring. As it is shown here, it is carried out in the clockwise along the ring. Whereas traffic from node B to node A is carried counterclockwise. Okay, it is counterclockwise along the ring. Usually traffic belonging to both direction of the connection is routed on a sorted path between the two nodes in this ring. Whichever will be the shortest path, it will take that path. Okay. So in case what happened in this, in case of unidirectional, one is working path and another one is protection fiber. In case generally data travel uh, traffic goes from working path, but in case of any failure, it choose protection fiber and working connection works in clockwise direction and protection fiber. in case of protection fiber the data travels in anti-clockwise direction but in case of bidirectional line switch ring in data tra transmit in both the direc direction okay suppose we want to transmit a to b then data transmit in data is transmitted in this case data is transmitting in clockwise direction and from b to a it is transmitting from b to a in counterclockwise okay so these are references optical network it was all the data is i take from this book optical networks by r ramaswamy okay you can use this book also okay Thank you.